Hi friends, I'm Jess. Welcome to the Hex Library. Today is going to be my TBR takedown for the month of June. I hold a lot of books. Be prepared. If you are new here, the TBR Takedown is a game I've been playing trying to get my physical unread TBR shelf down from a really high number down to something more manageable. I had to switch up the game for 2023 because I was getting to a place where the game wasn't going to be any fun anymore and so I gave myself goals for every month and then that wasn't going very well because I was beating the goals every month and where's the fun in that? So then I added in a TBR jar component. We're having a great time. Uh, because of that I am keeping my backlist TBR and my current TBR separate. Um, all of those will be over here for you so that you can see all of the stats and things um, and we're gonna see how things go. So I'm starting off June with 51 books on my backlist, 31 on my current, and my goal was 51. So I already hit my goal for the backlist TBR, so that's like null and void, doesn't matter. Next month we'll start getting into where it will matter. First we're going to go through the books that I hauled, if they counted or if they didn't count. Um, if they didn't count that means that I already read them. Let's get to it. We're going to talk about two books first, and that is the second and third book in the Shades of Magic trilogy. Um, I've got A Gathering of Shadows and A Conjuring of Light. I ordered both of these as these editions because this is the edition that I have of the first book. These is not the same edition, not by the same publisher, not the same height, not even the same country edition. I don't know how we got here, but we did. Books two and three of the Shades of Magic trilogy. Next I have Her Good Side from Rebecca Weatherspoon. This is a YA, I believe a fake dating trope? Possibly? I could be wrong. Um, this was an arc that actually came out in May and it was passed on to me by Bethany at Beautifully Bookish Bethany um, because she thought I would enjoy it. So I will be looking into this hopefully soon. I do have a few prompts in July that are for like a fluffy summer read so this is probably what I'll pick up for that. I have two books by Minnie McGinnis. I have Not a Drop to Drink and In a Handful of Dust. These are two books in a duology that are post-apocalyptic set in a world where there is no water or very very little water and the first book follows a family where the mother is protecting their basically their pond their water and that is all I know. Um, I met Mindy in May I think at a book signing and just was very invigorated to read her entire backlist. So far I haven't read her entire backlist but I sure have bought a lot of it so I also hauled Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. This does not count because I already have a copy of this book, so this one doesn't count. I then have Every Gift of Curse by Caroline O'Donoghue. This is the third book in the All Our Hidden Gifts series. Um, I've talked about this series at length at nauseum because All Our Hidden Gifts was my favorite book of 2022. Um, I've read the second book recently. I'll be reading the third book hopefully very soon. And the last two also do not count because I've already read them as well. Uh, they are Bridge of Souls by Victoria Schwab. Uh, yeah, Victoria Schwab. Uh, this is the third book in the Bridge of Souls trilogy, which I have read previously and was waiting for the paperback to come out before I bought them because my other two books were paperback and they all got a match. And I also picked up A Garden of Small Beginnings by Abby Waxman. This is the first book in I'm gonna say it's a series but it's never expressly stated that it's a series. I actually read these out of order. They are A Garden of Small Beginnings which is then followed by The Bookish Life of Nina Hill which is then followed by Adult Assembly Required. These books are not listed as like a series but they are they have overlap of characters and that is the order of the timeline so if you don't want to be spoiled for like the couples of the previous books you should read them in order. If you don't care about that and you just want to read them and have fun then just read them in whatever order you want. But The Bookish Life of Nina Hill changed my life so that's it. That's that's be that be the books that we hauled. Let's go over the books that we read. I did not read a lot this month. It was one of my smallest reading months of the year um but it, it is what it is. I read The Empty Grave by Jonathan Stroud which is book five in the Lockwood & Co series and I do not own a copy of that so it does not come off of anything. Gallant by V.E. Schwab which comes off of the current TBR. 
Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller, which comes off of the backlist TBR. I've owned this beauty since 2018. I read it and I fucking loved it. Wish I'd have read it sooner. Daughter of the Siren Queen, which I do not own a copy of, so it does not come off of anything. A Gathering of Shadows, which you just watched me haul, so it comes off of the current TBR. And Mystic School of Music Craft, which also comes off of the current TBR. So that, my friends, gets us to our TBR jar. If you remember last month, the book that we pulled from the jar was Sweet and Bitter Magic by Adrian Tooley. I did not read this and therefore it must be unhauled. Um, she goes out the door. This is a signed and sprayed cover edition copy, but it's, it is whatever. It's pretty, but I, again, have read the first chapter of this multiple times and never picked it up this month, so she's going out the door. That then should lead us with 49 on our backlist TBR and 34 on the current TBR. I'm not 100% sure about that. I never am, but the numbers are over here for you, for you to see. Um, and my goal was 51 and we made it to 49, so we're good. But next month our goal is like 45, so I actually have to read some. I know. Terrible. So let's find out what our next book is going to be. So since I've added in this TBR jar element, the Sweet and Bitter Magic is the first thing that I've unhauled. I've actually read everything so far, which is surprising uh, because these books have been sitting around forever and I haven't picked up any of them. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'll go in here with my little shrimpies. We will pull out a book. Hopefully it's one I actually want to read. And if not, then it'll just get yeeted out the door. Okay, it is... You can't read it. Tithe, which I believe is part of Holly Black's Modern Fairy Tales trilogy. If that's not the first book in the trilogy, then I'll read whatever the first book in the trilogy is. But I think that is the first book. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. But either way, first book in the trilogy. Do I want to read that? Not really. Am I going to? Who knows? That's it. That's been our TBR takedown for the month of June. Let me know in the comments below if you play any TBR games because I love them and I want to watch all of the videos. Also, if you have any ideas for what I can do next year for TBR Takedown, because I have no fucking clue, a girl would take some help. Uh, in the comments down below if you made it this far or you're not feeling chatty, leave me a shrimp emoji. If there's not a shrimp, just some kind of sea creature. It's fine. Obviously, I don't know enough about emojis to be telling you emojis to leave, but it is fine, my friends. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing book, and planner related content a couple times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!